Hey guys, Zach here. It's currently not even 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to be recording this video because uh, they have released a Doctor Who little tease of the of one of the games. I think I know which one it is, um, but uh, Maze Theory actually gave me a heads up and I was having trouble with this for a little while because I have to answer a riddle and uh, I was going to ask them for a hint but then it clicked with me. So I'm going to explain my thought process and how I got to the conclusion and then we're going to dive into the website. So without any further ado guys, let's get started. <laughs> So here we have the word thing written four times going one over the other. Now my initial thought was, oh, it's one thing after another, like those, you know, little brain teasy puzzles, but I figured out it's a code word. So then I really got thinking, like it has to be Doctor Who related. And there were only a few main episodes where the Weeping Angels were actually a main villain of the show. And then I remembered the episode Blink. Now. If you guys remember, um, in the episode of Blink, at the very end, Sally Sparrow gives David Tennant's doctor the clues of how he gets past the angels and how he returns from 1969. Well, one of the things that uh, he says is that he has to go because him and Martha are dealing with a few things. Well, four things. Well, four things and a lizard. Yeah, listen, listen, gotta dash, things happening. Well, four things. Well, four things and a lizard. So, if I put in all caps, L-I-Z-A-R-D, the word lizard, boom, we are in. So, let's not save the password. So, you are authorized to access from Osgood, who is a character from the uh, uh, Matt Smith era. So, Hi, something went wrong. Please try again. My, my thing went off. Anyways. Allow the cookies. So let's see what there is here. Okay, so mainly it's just the the, the message from Osgood. So we're gonna read it, or I guess listen to it, and dissect it a little bit. So here we go. Okay, I've not got long, so just listen. I have a funny feeling an old friend of mine made sure this phone fell into your hands, which means you're the right person for the job. The job being, Find Lawrence. I can't stress how important that is. Think yellow highlighter and, and circled in red several times. Yes, that important. Right, my friends call me Petronella. You can call me Osgood. I'm an investigator looking into the odd, the unexplained, anything on earth or even beyond. And I've only just realized what a massive remit that is. No wonder I need your help. You and me are going to- Oh, oh, hello. Spooky music incoming? Angels still hungry. Angels feast on you. Angels eat you. Coming to get you. We're coming to get you. Oof. Okay, so my theory was definitely correct. That that was definitely uh the mobile game. Um and you know what? Maybe I'll have to give it a try. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to give it a try. Just because of one reason. The Weeping Angels. Um, so, that's that. Um, that's the, the little prize I get for figuring out that code. I, I, it took me a while, actually. It took me maybe half an hour to figure that out, which maybe isn't long for some people. I don't know how long it took people to figure that out, but yeah, anyways. Um, so, that's for the mobile game. So. I, oh, I, <laughs> I love the Weeping Angels. The Weeping Angels are absolutely one of my favorite creatures. Blink is one of my favorite episodes. Definitely, probably my favorite episode from series three. Um, so, one thing I like is that they got, I don't know her name, but the main, uh, the actress who played Osgood to come back and do this role. And I'm really hoping that actually lends into the app. Maybe this app will be Smith era because she said a friend of mine made sure this got into your hands and she's mainly from the Smith Capaldi era of who. So I'm really hoping that 
they really get some more actors from Doctor Who in it, maybe, maybe. Um, but ah, I love it. I love that it has a really spooky vibe to it. I love that it's got more of a a haunted, not haunted, but well, kind of haunted, like a creepy. I mean, granted, the Weeping Angels are creepy creatures. Any single episode that features the angels, or at least highlights the angels, are definitely scary. Um, Blink, um, uh, freaking Crash of the Byzantium, whatever episode that was. Um, they just, they're always creepy, and I wonder how they're going to make that work with the phone app. I wonder if it's going to be a augmented reality kind of deal, where you, like, you turn your phone around, you see angels, you have to keep your phone aimed at them, while also trying to figure out clues. I wonder if that's how it'll work. Um... I wonder if it's going to be um, just overall like a regular game where you have to like keep an eye on the angels, maybe move your phone, like I don't know. It's kind of crazy the potential of this kind of game. Um, obviously we're going to figure out more this weekend, um, this Saturday, which of course this Saturday happens to be the Charity Mansion event, so I probably won't be uploading any videos on it on Saturday. But I'll definitely be filming, and then on Sunday, there will definitely be some reaction videos up. And then the Monday, there will probably be the discussion videos um, on probably each of these games individually. Because originally, I kind of downplayed the mobile game in the last video that I uploaded yesterday. But I'm starting to realize that maybe this mobile game isn't too bad. Um, you know, let, let, let's rewatch that video again. Okay. I've not got long, so just listen. I have a funny feeling an old friend of mine made sure this phone fell into your hands, which means you're the right person for the job. The job being, find Lawrence. I can't stress how important that is. Think yellow highlighter and, and circled in red several times. Yes, that important. Right, my friends call me Petronella. You can call me Osgood. I'm an investigator looking into the odd, the unexplained, anything on Earth or even beyond. And I've only just realized what a massive remit that is. No wonder I need your help. You and me are going to... Angels still hungry. Angels feast on you. Angels eat you. So yeah, that's that. Oh my god, I, I'm actually kind of intrigued now. So my dumb self, I recorded the process of me figuring this out, and of course, I didn't record the screen. So I'm gonna show you the puzzle really quick. I'm gonna show you guys what this puzzle looked like that I had to figure out, and uh, I'm going to kind of. Uh, Go you snip clip some little uh, details that I figured out as I was going along and I'll tell you how I figured it out and what I get from it. So here is, uh, actually no, first here's the riddle. Obviously it's a bunch of jumbled letters and usually I'm not one to figure these things out. I'm usually horrible at figuring these things out but it took me about uh, 20 minutes of recording before and I had figured it out and I don't know how I figured it out. Well, I do know how I figured it out. So. Here's some highlights of me attempting to figure this middle out. I'm gonna try and go word by word and try to figure out what this is all about. Um, there are some things that I think are kind of obvious. Um, like for example, I think this one is worlds. I think this one is is words. And there's your on our list. I don't, oh my lord, this is hard. I don't know where to, like, where to really go. I'm guessing it's sniff out? I think this is right. I think, hold on, I think I'm getting somewhere. Right now, this might be because, I think this could together, together? This might be wood. We, maybe we? We would not stop, wouldn't. Come on, this is, this is wouldn't. I think this is him. I think this is even. We would not stop him. Wouldn't even. 
Okay, and I think this is him. I, maybe this is if. Hold on, I think I'm starting to notice the pattern. I think different let I think letters are swapped. So if your So hold on, wait, hold on. I, I think I'm starting to figure it out. So where is it? Okay, hold on. Let's let's look at a word that we figured out like wouldn't. So A is W. B I don't know. C D E F G H I. Can I think H is I. Want to know how I figured it out? Well, let me pull up my notes here. So basically, I did a copy and paste. I copied the, the words twice, and I went through word by word trying to figure it out. And obviously, it was that different letters had different meat, or diff were actually different. And I don't know how I figured it out, because some letters were the same, some were completely different. I don't know how I figured it out, to be honest. I just took the words that I think were obvious, which I think is what most people would have done. I took the words that were obvious, like for instance, this one right here. This is obviously supposed to be the word because, and um, you know, and this is obviously supposed to be the you, like you are, like you are. And obviously this is supposed to be, well, actually I thought this one was together at first, but and obviously I took this one as relentless. Um, I took this one as, uh, I, I initially said this one was wouldn't, but it ended up being couldn't. Um, this one's obviously words, so I figured it out and then I use that that train of thought to replace the, like for example When I figured out that this one's words, I knew that all the B's had to be D's So I figured that out and it actually wasn't that bad once I figured it out It just took a lot of thinking so the statement ends up being if you're reading these words It means there's hope and we need that right now because he's coming We thought he was a myth, but myths don't wipe out worlds and sniff out stars Some call him death because he's relentless and inescapable and final I'm presuming this is supposed to be finally and final we could not stop it We could not stop him couldn't even scratch him if you're reading these words It means you're our last hope and I think that's pretty accurate The only thing that sounds weird to me in there is the final and final we could I'm presuming I'm supposed to get finally out of it but I don't know either way um, I don't know what to make of this I don't know if it's like a secret code for like um, a, a specific enemy my guess is maybe Davros maybe but I don't know it could be anyone it could be anything I don't think this one's alluding to the mobile game um, I'm not quite sure um, this is called the chaosverse.com um, so I don't know if this is the mobile game. I have a feeling it isn't. I have a feeling it's alluding to something more, but we'll have to see. Um, so I'm pretty proud that I was able to figure out that puzzle. That was that, that took me a while. It took me 20 minutes of just sitting there and scrambling out the words and letters. It took me a little while, but what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All the stuff down below as well. Click on the notification bell so you're notified of when I upload videos and all that cool stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.